Hello everyone. My name is Wang Hongwei. I work in the Department for Martial Arts, College of Physical Education, Northwest Normal University. At present, I'm studying for a doctoral degree in the School of Physical Education and Sports of Beijing Normal University. My main research direction is folk martial arts, culture, and folk martial arts ceremony, and so on. The theme of this conference report is discipline and compliance. The significance construction of the third ceremony of Chinese folk martial arts, and the content of my research mainly includes the following six parts. And the first part is research background. Chinese folk martial culture is transmitted through an initial ritual, which start by the ceremony where the future initiated pre the master to become his apprentice. And this ceremony represents a distinctive phenomenon and set of behavior that caught the attention of academia. Especially since it came under the regulation of the Chinese Intangible Cultural Heritage Program, from the governance perspective, the safeguarding and promotion of the ICH items benefits to the construction of a Chinese national identity as well as a national unity with the adhesion of the population, which in turn increased the social harmony and a sustainable development. And therefore. It is in the government's interest to cater the native cultural actors to implement policies accordingly, and in the case of folk martial arts, the government should normalize and safeguard folk practices that are often in the verge of disappearing, based on their ritual initial framework. For social actors involved in such practice, the initial ceremony and the technical training that follows represent the discipline to adopt and the hierarchical order to exert in. And the sec second part is the research methods. This article mainly uses literature and field research methods to obtain field data through unstructured interviews and participatory observations. And the third part is Chinese folk martial arts ritual initiation cultural contest. The first one is the birth of the obsessions to master from the antiquity. Chinese civilization has defined itself as the land of rites and ceremonials, through the influence of Confucianism and the principles as honor teachers and estimate truth, the ritual initiation by the master and the ceremony through which one became his apprentice has been an important element in Chinese cultural landscape from ancient China to the modern area. In ancient times, the disciples did not know how to express their respect for the master, so they had to kneel down to express their reverence for the master. And the second part is the birth of martial arts worship ceremony. Chinese folk martial arts developed and were transmitted within a cultural context, understood as a body culture. Martial arts techniques circulate from generation to generation through a process of body shaping, where practitioners, by continuous training, acquires both a specific corporal experience and sensitivity. As scholars argue, martial arts is not only a body language; its knowledge, its related experience, intuition, and practices. And the first one. It provides a stable and profound. First one, it provides a stable and profound relation between the teacher and the student, which in turn allows the oral and time-demanding transmission of a complex set of techniques. And second one, these body techniques represent a capital for these for those who come to master them. They represent valuable resources that are to be. Cautiously shut within that internal circle, or transmitted behind closed doors. Therefore, it is through the ritual that the student enter the door, integrate the group's identity, and is thus entitled to receive the technical knowledge. The ritual is also the expression of the student feeling toward his master, both technical and moral teaching. And the fourth one is integration of identity. The logical starting point of the construction of the ceremony of worshiping teachers in folk wushu. The Chinese traditional society is a agrarian community, where in turn structuring the agricultural collective work. The transmission of martial arts has also been structured by the same type community, 
Moreover, individuals within martial arts communities are brought together by their belonging to the lineage, being either defined by the bloodline blo blo or the emulation of it. Therefore, when an outsider wants to enter with the community, he or she must first recognize the master and be recognized as a student, and only then can he accomplish the ritual to conform his identity within the group. And the first one, the disciple identifies with the master. And there are some field work data. Data one, the master has an outsiding technical level. While practicing, he can explain the combat application. The master has an outsiding technical level. And data two, compared to other styles, Ban Mengquan has a relatively rich cultural background. And data three, we disciples call the old master grandpa. When disciples utter the words Salam Grandpa, it just feels like one family. And you can see it in the failed data. The actual combat ability of martial arts, the level of master skill, rich cultural connotation, and the close relationship of master and disciple are like father and son, are the main contents that apprentices identify with. If such identity is positive, it can increase the apprentice apprentices psychological emotion of wanting to join the group and realize the final transformation from individual self to group self through categorization and socialization comparison and the second one is master identity disciple and there's some failed data like as the saying goes the master inspect his apprentice for three years and apprentice inspect his master for three years first Inspect whether the disciple has good moral character. Second one, inspect whether the apprentice has the talent to learn martial arts. And the third, whether the apprentice has the spirit of hardship. According to the field data, the moral character of the apprentices, the talent for learning martial arts, and they, they were important indicators for the master to inspect whether the apprentices can go from entry to entry. And the master's rec recognition of the apprentice is the final expression of the confirmation of the mentoring relationship. And the fifth one is ceremony integration, the symbol of the meaning construction of the ceremony of worshipping martial arts teachers. In the process of worshipping master, the program of the significant construction of the ceremony of worshipping master in folk martial arts, and there are 10 points. Ceremony begins, ceremony from master and instruction to report posts, start, pay, start paying obsessions to master and ceremonial tea, and worship ancestors and salute each other, and thank you to speak and wedding banquet. And there are some pictures I can share with you guys. The second one is the master ceremony and it's a symbolic representation. A. Beliefs and Symbols According to Knutton and Collins, ritual gives value and meaning to the whole world of those who perform it. One of the main results of the ritual is to endow symbolic objects with meaning or endow objects with new representation of respect. And some failed data like for the folk martial arts society, the worship of the master is an important event within, within the martial arts community because the periodic has become the object of respect and worship of the new apprentices. It is also the spiritual sustenance of the discipleship of the disciples that defecation. It is also the core driving force for good members to produce emotional belonging. And during the ceremony, the worship of ancestors allow the past, present, and future to be linked together. It embedded the pursuit of ancient traditions and especially the worship of ancestors. It embodies the spiritual elements in the practice of folk martial arts. It also allows the disciple to integrate the master lineage. From now on, his secular world becomes sacred. And B is the ethnic and symbols. The master ceremony is a product of the ethnics behind traditional social relations and the body language performed during the ritual embedded the social and cultural rep representation of eth ethnics. 
Ethnics is the normative manner of interaction between individuals. So kneeling and kowtowing represent the norm of behavior in regard to the ethnic that this, that our disciple must embrace. The gesture is not only an embodied action; it constructs a symbolic meaning and social values. Through the materiality of the body gesture, it is a specific human relation that is produced, namely the master and the disciple that, like father and son, or a master for one day but a father for the whole life, in a process of ritualization of body behavior. And he who teaches me for one day is my teacher for life. Human relations. And the sixth one is the supplying and compliance. The significance of the martial arts worship ceremony. Ritual is universally shared social behavior. It is a kind of formalized and periodic form of collective activity that human be undertake to achieve goals through an order manner. Ritual has a function of ordering social interaction and adjust collective life. Rituals also structure beliefs and ideas, allowing to express a specific worldview. The process and content of the ritual become a force that organizes the world. As Lich argues, ritual is a symbolic activity which represents a social structure. It is a symbolic expression of the social order. To summarize. Ritual has the function of refining social order. Before the master ceremony, every individual is in the padding units. Through the form of ritual, the master and the student come to a mutual identification, both on cultural and psychological levels. Through the use of the external form of corporal communication, individuals integrate personal qualities such as modesty and respect. Moreover. Through corporal punishment and martial ethnic requirements, the student is conditioned to, to identify himself with the rules and defer to martial ethnics. And in long term, through the process of imitation, the technical training activities will shape the emotional experience and ethnical views of the student. Through the retraining, the student will thus progressively develop civic behaviors, allowing him to construct stable and harmonious social relationships. At the end of my presentation, thank you for listening.